Hi there, this is Madin Ivanovic from complementarytraining.net and in this installment I'm going to talk to uh, one idea I play with using a banister model and uh, try to predict the uh, individual uh, injury uh, probability. Um, I mostly used workbook by um, um, Philip Skiba and David Clark, which is one of the articles I reference a lot and I urge you to uh, read it. This article resulted in n n numerous ideas I had and I still read it and reread it occasionally and I use the um, I use the appendix, uh, actually the attached uh, Excel file and I use it in this example as well. Uh, it's completely free, you can download it and another great book and another great uh, Excel templates I've been using are, are coming from Dara Smart Book um, from John Foreman which I also highly recommend having I have it in Kindle and and I have it on PDF as well and I'm thinking of actually buying in paper in paperback so just just to have it because I reference it a lot and it's a great great startup book for uh, uh, if you are interested in data analysis anyway I've been using a, a Philip Skiba model uh, it's not actually his model it's it's a, a workbook it's a banister model uh, where we have a time series of training load in this case this arbitrary unit it could be distance cover could be anything could be training load from catapult GPS you know whatever um, again it could be multiple metrics so it could be multivariate uh, this is beyond uh, my excel power but i did it uh, i did one example with in r using um, hammer throwing and things like that and um, bench and squat performance and uh, actually bench and squat uh, volume to estimate squat performance and things like that so in this case we're going to use a uh, single variate so univariate and in the original banister model, the target variable was a performance metric. It could be a time trial, could be you know bench press, whatever. Uh, in this case, we have a true false uh, target variable, and this represents an injury occurrence. So this is not time loss due to injury; it's injury occurrence. Uh, so zero means there's no injury, and one means yeah, injury happened. Again, we can have multiple uh, multiple target variables. Uh, and create a, a predictive model for for each so for example this could be a contact injury uh, could be non-contact injury of lower body upper body and so forth so for each uh, target variable we could we could fit a um, different uh, model again this is a single individual so this is a single individual model and uh, using time series uh, as you can see on the on the chart uh, the vertical bars are training load and what we are trying to do is to predict the injury. Um, so we're going to use a banister model. Banister model uses uh, two components, a positive training effect and negative training effect. And each of them have two parameters. So uh, they have a, a gain parameter or K uh, and uh, tau, which is a time constant. Uh, you can recognize this model as a uh, common two-factor adaptation model where, where we have fitness and fatigue. So for example, for every every bar here on the chart, uh, we generate fitness and fatigue. So with fitness, uh, we have smaller uh, gain and longer duration. And with fatigue, we have higher gain and sh shorter duration. So the first effect uh, will be... Uh, drop in performance and then we're gonna you know come up uh, we are using in this case um, excel solver to try to find uh, optimal parameters by de minimizing the error rate uh, at least that's what uh, skiba and clark did as well um, so you're using a non-linear er or evolutionary uh, solver inside the excel to to minimize the error rate an error rate is basically the difference between uh, performance, you know, you know, uh, real performance and predicted performance. And in this case, we are using uh, zero and one. 
so pretty much uh, similar so I you know I, I use some of the original skiba data and uh, I add added the injury uh, so I put the injury occurrence uh, when we had the highest load and I created this stuff and what we are trying to do is again to try to find these uh, values uh, that minimize the error term and this is what I got so uh, as we can see the red line is a predictive, predictive uh, a prediction of the injury we can see it spikes uh, where there uh, is actual injury so we are using this as a supervised learning uh, method and we can see that we, you know we can predict the uh, probability of the injury before commenting on this I'll just show you quickly how is this performed so we go to data and then we go to solver um, you should have this enabled inside the uh, add-ons I guess so it, it comes with Excel but you can uh, you can you need to uh, turn it on so anyway the objective is this cell so this cell and you want to minimize it so this is basically a summary of this column uh, by changing these uh, five variables and then we put the constraints on, on some of the variables um, constraints could be done and uh, might not be it just makes things faster and you know probably more um, uh, logical so uh, what we are looking for is that k1 which is a positive training effect is lower than k2 and tau1 uh, which is a uh, uh, time um, time uh, uh, parameter is uh, longer so the positive training effects are longer than negative training effects so this is pretty much it um, we can choose nonlinear evolutionary the other setups I did uh, is uh, decrease the constraint precision and I put uh, multi start so you can you know try to find not local optimum but global optimum uh, and un unclick this this box uh, same thing here so um, if I click solve it's gonna take maybe a couple of minutes depending on your machine and uh, it, it can come up with the best parameters that minimize the uh, the error term this is a sum of uh, squares uh, sum of square error uh, one thing with with the banister we have positive training effect and negative training effect so this is related to a you know some some performance which is not discrete uh, uh, variable which is more continuous variable in this case we can say we have a, let's say protective injury effect and uh, I don't know how to call the other one it could be a, a promoting injury effect so mm, similar to uh, to original banister model we can think that you know uh, athlete athletes can adapt uh, to a training load uh, but if that training load is increased rapidly or things like that uh, then we can have a negative effects and that that's gonna affect the uh, probability of injury as we can see the probability uh, in this case goes from you know it's not constraint one and zero which as we know that you know any probability needs to be with between zero and one this can go below zero and this is a problem because I use a uh, let's call it a normal regression but it's this is not a re regression because Bannister model is non-linear uh, so I use the linear combination and the uh, the error um, is just a, a different squared and we use uh, basically you know the, the opti optimization is trying to minimize the uh, the error rate or um, ordinary least squares so uh, sim similar to that so this is this is working but again we don't know um, what what we are trying to do is to constrain uh, the outcome variable the output between 0 and 1 and this is pretty pretty similar to the uh, logistic regression so we can also use an uh, ordinary least square uh, normal regression to predict the uh, zero and one variables the discrete variables but um, 
we need to use something that's called a link function, uh, logit, logit function, that so we can constrain the the probability between zero and one. So I try to do that. Uh, so I'm I'm using a linear combination, and I'm using a link function. This is a logic logit uh, with some if. So you know to avoid uh, very very small numbers. Uh, so we get the 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 logit function. If if I'm wrong, please correct me here. Uh, and then we can use um, error rate, or we can use maximum likelihood. Uh, I've been playing with both. Uh, again, I've been using ideas from Data Smart Book, right? So we can use a n normal error. So this is an error between uh, predicted and the, the uh, probability after the link function, or we can use ma maximum likelihood, which is a, a slightly different formula. And with the maximum likelihood, we are trying to maximize, uh, uh, it's called a um, sum of likelihoods or something like that. Uh, so we are trying to maximize that, uh, where we, with the sum of, uh, with, or, with uh, least squares, we are trying to minimize the error. And again, as you can see, I've been uh, struggling with that and I couldn't figure out the best, uh, the, the best model. So again, the, the goal was to constrain the probability between zero and one using again the Bannister model. So I'm using this video for everyone, anyone who's watching to, you know, contribute a little bit. And, you know, if you have any ideas how to make this work, just please let me know. And here is the uh, solar parameters I use in this case. So pretty much similar objective is to minimize um, N14. Uh, by changing the uh, Bannister parameters. Um, and I put some constraints, so I want very, very small numbers um, inside the parameter, inside the uh, the parameters. And also I use a minimum and maximum number for uh, linear combination. So I, I tell the solver to kind of constrain uh, the, the parameters. And I couldn't come up with something that looks uh, logical. So I'm waiting for, for someone to um, try to solve this. Anyway, to, to uh, cut this short, uh, this is a single individual uh, probability. As you can see, if there's no injury, you cannot predict anything. So to predict injuries, you need to have injuries. So that, that's, that's one of the uh, things I've been uh, trying to uh, tell people uh, because uh, this is uh, called a supervised uh, learning, uh, supervised learning, uh, sorry, supervised uh, machine learning or supervised statistical learning approach, where we are using a nonlinear Bannister model. Uh, so to predict a variable, we need to have it inside. So we need to have injuries to be able to predict them. Again, it might need to be more than one injury. So I'm not so sure how this is gonna work on a single individual. I'm trying to figure out what would be the best way again, to use the Bannister model to predict injuries for a team. So you need to use a team training load and team injuries. Um, so it, that might be a, a Poisson, Poisson uh, regression because we need to count the injury occurrence. And again, at this point, this is uh, beyond my uh, understanding and comprehension. I'm, you know, I'm trying to read and learn more about it. But I'm looking, looking to, to hear some help from you know more experienced researchers and uh, data modelers. Thanks for watching.